Okay, so this is my uh, Chinese broccoli or guy lan. I've already washed it and soaked it in some water. It's not the prettiest example. In fact, it's a little young. There's no flowers on it. It's actually better when it has the real small flowers that haven't really opened up yet. So anyway, depending on the season and where you're at, you may not be able to get the perfect ones. Anyway, we're just going to trim off the bottom of the root end. And we're going to take this part. It's got the thicker root. And we're going to go ahead and throw this in the water first because it's going to take longer to cook. And then we're going to take this portion and we're just going to give it a chop. That's all we're going to do there. It'll wilt down more when it cooks. All right, so after about two minutes, my stalks are starting to get tender. They're not completely tender yet. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and we're going to throw our leaf portion in here. I'm really going to put this in here for a few seconds. Go ahead and turn that burner off. Now on the leaf portion, all we're really doing is we're setting the color. Because if we throw them in our stir fry just like this, they'll turn all yucky brown and stuff. Now I've got a pot of ice water sitting here. Let me move this over here. bright green that is now. And after it cools down, we're going to take, put it in our colander, let it drain. For the beef today, I'm going to be using flank steak. This is a much larger piece than what I need. So let's trim it up a little bit. Cause I need about eight ounces. That ought to be about, about right. Now this is a lot, um, but I'm gonna cut this against the grain. As you can see, the grain is going this way. So it means I'm gonna be cutting it this way. Now this is a lot longer pieces than what I'm going to need. So we're gonna lay this down. And once again, we're going across the grain. Now, if you put this in the freezer a little bit, it'll make it cutting. It'll make the cutting easier. I don't like cutting it too thin because the velveting process is going to make it tender anyway. Anyway, we're just doing like that. And the beef I'm not cooking today, I just portioned it out, ready to go when I need it. And for our marinade. For our beef, we're going to put half a teaspoon of sesame oil, half a teaspoon of soy sauce, half a teaspoon of rice wine. If you don't want to use alcohol, just use a little water or chicken stock or something. I'm going to give this a good mix. One tablespoon of egg white. That's about half of a large egg, the white part of it. Mix this in. I have one tablespoon of cornstarch. We're going to mix this up until we see no white specks. And if I have to, I'll add just a little bit of liquid to it. And this will need to set in the refrigerator for about half an hour. So now I need to make the sauce. I'm going to use a quarter cup of vegetable stock. The recipe is going to say chicken stock. That's what I normally use, but I happen to have some vegetable stock. It's whatever, whatever you want to use. All right. I've got one tablespoon of oyster sauce. One tablespoon of hoisin sauce. I've got half a tablespoon of raw sugar. You can use brown, but I think that's a little bit stronger. I have half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce. This is gonna make it real colorful. And one teaspoon of sesame oil. Now we're gonna give this a good mix and set it aside. Okay, so I'm just about ready to cook. 
My oil has been warming up. I'm going to raise the temperature. And I have everything that I need within reach. Every utensil, everything. Let me turn it so I can see what's going on. There we go. Because when, I, when this process starts, I don't want to have to stop. I don't want to have to look for anything. I want it right here where I know where it's at. I've got my noodles, I've got my oil, I've got my drain stuff, onions, garlic. Also, go over the recipe. Go over it in your head one more time. Now, one thing I haven't talked about is my thickening slurry. I have half a tablespoon of cornstarch, half a tablespoon of water. And I'm going to put that in my sauce just so that it clings to the vegetables and the meat. I don't like to put too much because then it becomes goopy. I don't like it with goopy sauce. I just want it to cling to everything. So anyway, as soon as this oil gets hot, we'll get started cooking. Now for my noodles, I'm using a fresh egg noodle. They are, they've already been steamed. So I guess you couldn't really call them fresh. But anyway, I'm using a small noodle. These are basically the same noodles that I made the chow mein with a few days ago. Uh, but they're a lot thinner. And thinner means there's a lot more surface area, so it's a lot more crispy crunchiness whenever they get done cooking. Oil's starting to get hot. I don't think it's quite there. Let's take a look. Nope, it's not quite hot enough yet. We'll, we will be soon. All right, I think my oil's hot enough. Yeah, I'd say it's hot enough. We're going to cook these until they're nice and crispy. You can also call these pan fried noodles. This thing, the oil has quietened down. So let's take a look, see what we got here. Yep, it's got some nice color on that side. Let's go ahead and get our noodle cake turned over. Now don't splash that towards you. Splash it away, push, put it in away from you if you can. There we go. And this won't take but a second to cook on this side because the other side's already done. All right, so we only cooked this side for about 10 seconds. Now I'm going to put this on a rack so that it can drain off some of the oil. Not all of it will drain off. We're going to enjoy some of that. This oil is still hot. We're going to start putting our beef in here. Now we're not going to have this, we're not going to leave this in here very long. Break it up. We'll go ahead and turn this burner off. Now I'm just going to pour this through the strainer. Okay, I've kind of caught back up on everything. I went ahead and I put my noodles on my plate, on my serving plate. Now I've got, it looks like about one tablespoon of oil already in the wok and all the bits and everything from cooking before. I'm going to add one more tablespoon to that. We're going to add our onion. This is about half of an onion from a medium onion. Half a tablespoon of garlic and half a tablespoon of ginger, roughly chopped. Now I did cheat, I used the store-bought garlic. Onion softened up, my garlic's starting to get just a little bit of color. Go ahead and put our sauce in here. Go ahead, our cornstarch slurry. Put 
that in. Mix it up. Put our beef in. Put our Chinese broccoli. Go ahead and turn the burner off. Now I'm going to plate this up. So how's our beef with uh, Chinese broccoli? Now we velveted the beef so it should be nice and tender. Oh, now one thing. Uh, I probably should have made double the amount of sauce. There's not quite enough liquid to uh, tenderize the noodles like I was shooting for. So, say instead of a quarter cup of chicken stock, use half a cup and then use one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of water. Let's try the beef. That is melting your mouth tender. Absolutely flavorful. Now, let's check our Chinese broccoli. Mmm. This dish is a winner. Just needs a little more sauce for the noodles. If you weren't doing the noodles, leave the sauce amount the same.